Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use proxy in Janitor AI. Let's begin. So once you've opened Janitor AI, you have to make sure that you sign into your account. Then choose one of the chats that you created before. So I have Wilson Wang over here. I'm going to select continue. From there, head over to the top right and you're going to see these three lines, select it, then choose API settings. So from these different options, choose proxy and make sure that you choose custom under model. So I'm going to be using openrouter.ai and I'm going to look for a specific AI that I want to add in myself. So there's going to be different models in which you can use. If you want to see the models, choose models here on the right. And then some of them are free and then some of them are paid. So if you see this little gift icon, it means it is free. But then if you don't see that gift icon, it means you have to pay and you have to log into your account. But the one that I'm going to be using is DeepSeek. So there it is, TNG DeepSeek R1T2. I'm going to select it. Now, just after the heading, you are going to see this code. You are going to simply click on this little clipboard icon to copy it. Then you're going to go back to Janitor AI. Then in the model section, you're going to right click and select paste. And then next we need another link. So where it says other API proxy URL. So you're going to paste in this link. You will find this link in the description. So if you use open router for any type of AI that you choose from there, then this is the same link that you're always going to paste here, always. Okay, and the last step, which is the most important one, is to include the API key. So you're going to go back to open router, then head over to the top right and hover over your account, then choose keys. After selecting keys, click on create API key. Then you have to give this key a name. Once done, head over to the bottom right of this little window and choose create. So then here is going to be your new API key. Simply head over to the right and select the clipboard icon. Now it's going to be copied. Then we go back, right click and select paste. Then you can also give it a custom prompt. Basically you're going to tell how the AI should respond and how it should behave. But then you can also choose some other things like defaults, erotica, freedom, new, romance, and so on. Once you're done, select save. Then it says you just changed API. Do you want to set generation settings to open AI's default? Select no. And then it's going to say use in proxy at the top. Okay, so let's test it out. And if it gives you this network error, simply just refresh the website. Then try again. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.